Let's start with Generative AI. This is the AI that creates things, be it a text, music, codes, images. These are few of the examples. You send it a prompt and it gives you back a creation. Examples of uh, generative AI could be uh, ChatGPT writing cover letter for you. It could be you having a long conversation with ChatGPT about your code issues. I have been doing that a lot lately. Another example could be Dal E or Mid Journey making a new painting from your description. Google Gemini coming up with a poem or an answer. Uh, it could be Music LM composing a song based on your mood. So these are few of the examples, but that's the thing. That's it. The AI answers and you steer the ship. There is no memory, no planning. It is like an art tool waiting for your direction every single time. So that was generative AI for you. Now let's dig into AI agents. So AI agents don't just create, they do tasks for you. You give them an instructions and they get your task done once. But AI agents do come with limitations. AI agents handles only one thing at a time. There is no long term memory, no learning or no planning. They are great assistants, but only as clever as the instructions you have given. So that was AI agents for you. Examples of AI agents could be uh, Grammarly checks your email draft and suggests improvements. Zapier connects two apps. When you get an email attachment, it uploads to Dropbox. Another example could be GitHub Copilot, not only writing code for you, but also suggesting fixes in your code. So these are a few of the examples of AI agents. So let's dig into agentic AI. Just to remind you, agentic AI is not same as AI agents. So agentic AI acts like a smart teammate. You give it a goal and it figures out how to get it done, even if it takes many steps to get it done. So what makes it special is agentic AI plans ahead and adapts. It breaks down your goals into smaller tasks, does each one of them, learn from their results and then tries again if something didn't work. So there's a feedback loop there which exists and it keeps on learning from the feedback loop. So agentic AI has memory. It remembers past actions and results, so it gets better over time. Agentic AI learns from the feedback. If you correct it or if it fails, it improves its strategy. Examples of agentic AI could be AutoGPT, which researches on a topic, writes a report and cites sources all on its own. So there is no human intervention over there. Then another example could be Devin, which troubleshoots your code, installs softwares, tests features and fixes bugs until your app works all on its own. Another example could be Research Agent, which reads, summarizes and organizes the findings from dozens of articles you have mentioned without you telling it in each step how to do it. Another popular example is Crew AI, which coordinates multiple specialized AI teams to solve complex business problems. And then there are personal CRM agents, which finds data about your contacts, sends follow-ups, tracks responses, and tweaks out outreach for better results. So agentic AI is like an intern who never sleeps. It gets smarter and always works towards your end goal. So that was agentic AI for you. I'll give you a quick summary on the differences between generative AI, AI agents, and agentic AI. So here's a quick comparison breakdown between generative AI, AI agents and agentic AI. I'm referring to the table here. Core ability wise, generative AI creates content, whereas AI agents executes one task or instructions at a time. And agentic AI achieves goal by planning and adapting. So there are various tasks in between and agentic AI does each one of them. For generative AI, you need to give a prompt. And based on your prompt, it gives out the results. AI agents, on the other hand, you give a command, it does the task once, and that's it. For agentic AI, on the other hand, you set a goal or outcome. And agentic AI tries to reach that goal. Output-wise, gener generative AI comes out with one response. AI agents, on the other hand, performs a complete task. Agentic AI, on the other hand, has a multi-step result. It adapts as needed. Memory-wise, generative AI doesn't have any memory. AI agents, they don't have any memory. Whereas, agentic AI has long-term memory. It learns from its past. 
so there is a feedback loop over there which exists and it has a core memory of its own so generative ai wait for your prompts ai agents acts only once based on the command you have given whereas agentic ai acts on its own but with the limits in case of generative ai there is no feedback loop in for ai agents there is no feedback loop but for agentic ai there is a feedback loop it learns from its results and improves on its strategies so in short generative ai is best for writing designing content whereas ai agents are best for automation and performing simple routines whereas agentic ai they are best for research complex tasks decision making so to explain the differences i'll give you a real world analogy think of generative ai as canva or photoshop a creative tool which you guide whereas ai agent is like a robo vacuum you press start and it cleans once whereas agentic ai is like a junior employee you tell them the outcome you want and they figure out the steps and even get better over time if this breakdown helped do like it and share it and follow for more no jargon ai guides